Hello. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hi, Leticia. How are you? Fine, teacher. And awesome. how was your day? It's been a good day. Thank you for asking. Yes. Nice. Yes, thank you. What about you? How was your day? Very good. All right, then awesome. Very good teacher. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. What about the rest? How was your day, guys? Good evening. Good evening, Roger. How are you? I'm great. Awesome. Happy to hear that, Roger. How was your day? Um, so far, so good. So far is good, amazing. What about the rest? Hi, teacher. Hi, Luis, how are you? Uh, hi, a little tired, but uh, yes. good. I imagine. Okay, but I'm happy that you're good. I'm happy that you're doing good now. Uh, it's almost over, so don't worry. You're gonna, okay. you're gonna be Thank good you. later. You're welcome. All right, guys, so today is the last day of this course. Right, as a sad and as I am, I am also happy because you were able to finish this course, all right? And not everybody does it. So I would like to congratulate you for you um, being so uh, um, resilient, all right? Tan perseverantes. So congratulations, guys. And thank you very much for joining for the last day. Um, gracias por unirse en el último día. So thank you. And also, just as a friendly reminder, okay, solo un pequeño recordatorio, that you have until today, before 11.59 p.m., to finish the platform, all right? If you have any questions, I'm gonna be here until 12, all right? So if you have any questions with the platform or with other, uh, with other things, I'm gonna be here. Today, we will cover the, um, the final exam, all right? So we can go over the questions and we can go over the answers to see how, uh, what were they, right? And why it was the reason uh, they were managed like that, okay? So, um, and also remember that you have until December 23rd to deliver the, all the documentation. So insofar can take into account for the next course, all right? Recuerden que tenemos hasta el 23 de diciembre para entregar los documentos pero para completar la plataforma es hasta el día de hoy, antes de las 11.59, ¿ok? Yo sé que ya los tengo aburridos con eso, I'm sorry guys, but remember that is until today, All right? Pero recuerden que solo es hoy. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, guys? No, teacher. No? All right then. So in no. that case, ok, awesome then. So in that case, what we're gonna do is that? Creo que Estela quería decir algo. No. Estela. Bien. No, no, no. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. All right then. Okay, then no problem. Thank you. So in that case, as we mentioned yesterday, como mencionamos el día de ayer, we will go over the final exam, right? This exam was a little bit long. I understand. So, um, wait. Déjenme hacer algo. Se me olvidó compartir el audio, I'm sorry. My OAC. So, the final exam was a little bit long, so um, it might have taken a, a while for you to finish. So let's go over it, right? It has two, four, six, six session, sections, all right? From A to, from letter A to letter F. The first one, what you needed to do is to listen to the conversations, right? In this case, there were two telephone conversations, and what you needed to do is to check the correct information. So 
let's go ahead and listen to both conversations and see what were the correct answers. The first conversation is about Wes invitation and Wes excuse. Wes is the name of one of the people from the conversation. All right. Wes is the name of one of the people in the conversation. De la primera. De la segunda sería Rita. All right. So let's go ahead and listen to the conversation and then we can check the correct answer. Just let me check. Listen to. Pueden escuchar el audio? Yes. Okay then. So let's go over it and then we will check the answers. Two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Hello. Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good oh. idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay, awesome. So the first one, guys, it was an invitation to go where? Beach party. Beach party. Beach party. Beach. Beach. Party. Beach. All right. Beach. Yes. <laughs> Not the other one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no hay té ahí. No hay té. No, no hay so té. it's like, shh, como Beach. de callarse. <laughs> yes. Beach <laughs> party. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes, Vengo but that's the correct answer. Partiendo, <laughs> yes, but that's the correct <laughs> answer. Thank you. So the imitation was to a beach party, right? No tea, no tea. Awesome. What was the excuse, guys? What are the excuse of the West? So he wouldn't go. He start work at 6 p.m. He start work at 6 p.m. He start work at that's correct he starts work at 6 p.m right that's the reason why he can go to the party awesome then we have rita right what was the invitation for uh dance, dance performance. Performance. Dance performance amazing amazing guys that's correct that dance performance that was the invitation why she couldn't go what was the reason why she, she needs, needs to study to for this. That's correct. Amazing. She needs to study for a test, right? Later on, the guy was able to convince her to go to the party. But the reason why she couldn't go at first, it was because she needed to study. Do you have any questions regarding this section, guys? That is letter A? No. No? No. All right, Maybe. then. Perfect then. So let's continue to letter B. All right. So in this one, what would you need to do is to complete the conversations and use the correct form of the verbs. That's it. Completar las conversaciones y utilizar la forma correcta de los verbos. Ahora, vamos a revisarlas. ¿Sí? La primera dice, what do you, y en paréntesis dice, plan to, tonight. So, ¿cuál sería? En la primera. Plan to. 
<coughs> plan doing to do. That's correct. Plan, plan to do. do. Plan, plan, plan to do. do. Plan to do. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Yes, that's correct. Plan to do tonight. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much. Then the next one, it says I, then on parentheses is want and stay. And then home, there's a soccer match on TV. What will be the correct answer? Want to stay. Perfect. Thank you, Oli. So want to stay, right? Awesome. Thank you. So want to stay. That's the correct answer. Perfect. Now let's go with number two. What are you and Dave? Then the verbs go and do tomorrow. What will be the answer? Going to do. Goal like Going to, to have. Do. No. Goal like to have. Going to do. No, going but to it's do. Going to. going to do. Esa es la la Ah, no, la es la de sí. Es la de Yo estoy en el tres. Yes, ya se me adelantó. Ya se me adelantó. Yes. No, pero está corriente. La respuesta que me dio Oli está correcta, pero para la siguiente. So, okay. yes. In, in this, in this Ay, one. Ahora resulta. <laughs> going to do. La escopeta right? le tiran a los patos. Yeah. <laughs> en, esta, en esta es la que dijo Oli. All right. Like Say what one uh -huh. would like to have. That's correct. En esta sí. Would like to have. Right. Vamos yes. Would like to have. That's 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 it. Now let's go with number three. It says, "What do you hope, hope and do? do? Hope to do. Perfect. Hope to do. Hope to do, and that's it. What do you yes. hope to do after graduation? That's it. All right, and it's correct. Now the last one. It says, "I then love and travel. Will love to travel. That's love correct." To travel. Would we'll love to we'll travel. Would love, we'll love to travel. Yes. That's and that's it. All right. I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Hello? Bless you. Yes. Ya mañana no, viernes. Ya. <laughs> <laughs> ya ya hoy sale de vacaciones. <laughs> no, no salimos de vacaciones. No, no vacation. <laughs> vacation, guys. That's correct. So that's it, guys. Letter le, uh, letter B on on the uh, uh, on the test. I'm sorry. Is that you just needed to put the words in the correct order and add them as if necessary, right? Y agregar um, conectores si fueran necesarios, right? But then it was it was good. It was like this one. Everything good on on letter B, guys, from the final test. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, let's go to the next one. Let's go with letter C. It says circle the correct word. That's what you needed to do, that's all. So let's go with part one. The part, part one says circle the correct word. Who can help me with the first one? Who can help me with the first one? Forest. 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 And how do you read all the There are a lot of beautiful in this forest. In this forest. Perfect. Everybody did amazing. So that's correct. There are a lot of beautiful trees in this forest, right? Forest, porque estamos hablando de trees, right? Árboles. Y esto es? <coughs> Bosque. Bosque. That's correct. Bosque. Perfect. 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 So who can help me with uh, with number two? Dessert. 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 Right? That's correct. ¿Y cómo se leería toda la oración, Leticia? This is a very hot and dry place. This is a very hot and dry place. That's it. Perfect. Thank you very much. A, a dessert is a very hot and dry place. That's it, right? Pero este es desert. Desert, es postre. Desert, ajá, uh -huh, es, es, um, thank you very much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lo tenía en la punta de la lengua. Desierto es um, desert. Y el otro uh -huh. es dessert. Dessert, ajá, es. Perfect. ¿Qué es? That's correct. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next one. With number three. What Montan. would be the correct answer? That's correct. Montan. 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 Perfect. Montan. What would be the, the, the Perfect. Thank you very much, Joel. 
So um, a mountain or a mountain, it's always higher than a valley, right? Mountain, se puede pronunciar así, o se puede pronunciar mountain, sin pronunciar la T. Ambas están correctas. Yo digo mountain because it's easy for me. But if you want to say mountain, that's okay as well, all right? Okay. So far, so good. Vamos bien hasta ahorita? Teacher, yes. a question, teacher. Yes. Teacher, yes. perdón, por... ¿Por qué, no, ¿Por qué no es necesario eh, eh, pronunciar la T? ¿Por qué vale? No, porque ambas son correctas. Ahí es la que a usted le salga más fácil. Porque se, eh, una es con un acento y otra es con otro acento. All right? Porque hay personas, por ejemplo, en el, creo que es en el sur de Estados Unidos, y con temor a equivocarme, la dicen sin la T. Y hay otras personas que le dicen con la T. Por ejemplo, los, los ingleses, they say mountain. And some people say mountain. So it's how you feel more, more comfortable. Es como que ustedes se sientan más cómodos. Amazon, correcto. Es como aquí que en una parte decimos haya y en otra haika. Exactamente. Exactamente. Es Miguel. Bronce Miguel. Bate o apiate. Apareciste, Carlos Emilio, nunca estás en la... Y hoy estás. Apiate, apiate de ahí, bojo. All right, so it's like that. Exactamente, es el mismo ejemplo. In some places they say it like... guarde y Dios guarde. I'm sorry? Dios guarde y Dios guarde. Ah, exacto. Dios guarde y Ajá, Dios que guarde. Dios lo guarde y se lo olvide dónde. <ríe> All right. So that's it. All right. That's the reason why. Hay en unos países, eh, generalmente la, la diferencia está en de un país a otro, pero aún en el mismo país todos tienen una pronunciación diferente. Igual que acá, uh, hay cosas que nos referimos con un nombre aquí, otro con otro nombre en Occidente, otro con otro nombre en Oriente. Entonces, por eso. Pero ahí es. Esa, como usted se sienta más cómodo. Si se siente mejor diciendo mountain, good. Si quiere hacerlo mountain, como yo le digo, that's cool as well. Both are correct. Ambas están correctas. Les digo esto porque ustedes lo van a escuchar como mountain y como mountain, pero para que no se confundan, es la misma palabra, pero diferente pronunciación. All right? Ahí ustedes Puedo deciden hacerme. cuál. ¿Cuál van Puedes a decir Aiga. Pueden decir Aiga y pueden decir Aya. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. So, so far so good, guys. With, uh, with part one. Con la parte uno, ¿vamos bien? Yes. 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 All right, perfect. So let's continue with the part two. This one, it's a little bit different. You just need to choose the correct word or phrase. Who can help me with number one? Tell. 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 So it will be... ¿Cómo se leería? Please tell Mary there's, 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 there's a party on Sunday. Amazing. That's it, right? Please tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday. That's it. Let's go with number two. Who can help me with this one? To bring. To bring. Perfect. This one, right? Yes. Wait, no me agarraba. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's to the correct. Well, ¿Cómo se leería? That is correct. Would you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? That's it. Who can help me with the last one? Ask. 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 All right. Perfect. ¿Cómo se Would you, could you ask, 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 ask Dana at the movie at eight fifteen? That is correct. Could you ask Dana that the movie starts at 8.15, right? That's it. Vamos a ver si estamos no correcto. Yes, right? Correct, 15 of 15 points, right? All of them are correct. There are a lot of beautiful trees in this forest. Uh, desert is a very hot, dry, hot and dry place. A mountain is always higher than a valley. Please, uh, Tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday. Would you ask Bill to bring the, the concert tickets tonight? Could you ask Dana that the movie starts at 8.15? Everything good on this part, guys? Yes. Very good. Yes. Yes, teacher. 
Thank you, guys. So let's go with letter D. This one, what you needed to do is to complete the sentences, right? Just to complete the conversation with will, will, I'd, or I'll, right? The last two are just the contractions, all right? Las últimas dos solo son las contracciones, okay? So let's go with number one. Who can Bold. help me with number one? Bold. Bold? Okay. Yes. yes. Bold. All right, perfect. Let's go with letter, uh, with number two, I'm sorry. What is it? Aisle. Uh, like this? Yes. yes. Awesome, perfect. Mm -hmm. What about number three? What is it? Aisle. Aisle. Perfect, Aisle. Aisle. perfect. What about number four? Wood. Wood? 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 Yeah. Yes. yes. Right, yes, that's correct. Perfect. Vamos a ver si está, tenemos bien la parte uno. That yes. is correct, right? Who can help me read? Let's see. Vamos a ver acá si quien no le ha escuchado la voz estos días. Just a me. Only. Help me read. Oli, ah, vale. a mí me le escucha todos los días, querido. All right. Just Carlos a minute, are you there? No, Carlos Emilio, porque él no, no, no se une todos los días. Ah, vaya. Uh, bueno, yo sé me dé la segunda. Carlos Emilio, help me read the number, number one, please. <laughs> No está. It's not here. Ah, so, okay. es, de solo está conectado. La, prim, <laughs> la, la primera es more core core del. Ajá. Oh no no. Ahorita no. Ahorita quiero que me lean cómo quedó con la respuesta correcta, Oli. Ayúdame ah, okay. con eso. Ah. Yes. Oli, wow. ayúdame. Ah, okay. What would you like to eat? To eat? Different chicken. Different chicken, please. Perfect. Thank you very much, Oli. Uh, Leticia, well, help me with number two. Uh, what kind of potato ball do you like? Uh, esa, lo siento, me cuesta pronunciar la, la contracción Aisle. de esto. Aisle. 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 have the mustard must potatoes. That's correct. Mashed potatoes. Do you know what is mashed, mashed potatoes? potatoes? Okay. Mashed potatoes? ¿Saben qué es mashed potatoes? Puré de, no, puré de patatas. Puré de patatas. Sí. Puré de patatas o de papas, right? Yo les digo papas. <laughs> right? Pero patatas es correcto también. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Joel, help me with number three. Okay. Give me a second. Anything to drink? Yes. Please. I like some water. Awesome. Thank you very much. And let's see. Mirna, tell me with number four. Pizza, teacher. Number four. Anything else? No, that uh, will be all. Amazing. Thank you very much. So that's it. Right? Part one, we already have it covered. Let's go with part two. We see which one it is. Which More city? More, More crowded. crowded. More crowded. A ese ya le había dicho yo, pero eso la saben, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes, la copia. <laughs> All right, uh -huh. So, number two. Is the this the word? Famous. The most famous. The most, the most famous. famous. The most famous, perfect. And the last one. Which one is it? Um, the, longest. the longest. The longest. The longest. The longest. Right. Okay. The longest. Uh, yes. The highest. Mm -hmm. Mirna, ¿cuál palabra? Amusement, algo así. Oh, amusement. The new. Amusement. Amusement. Ajá. Uh -huh. Esta. Ah. Esta es la canción que así se llama. Creo que sí. Cantala, queremos saber cuál es el proyecto. Oh. Ajá. It's okay, no more. But it's amusement. Amusement part. Amusement. 
Amusement. Como de Amusement. Amusement okay. Park. Mm -hmm. Ayúdame, right. maestro, por favor. And that's it. Uh -huh. That's correct. Puede. All of them are correct. Ya, right? Right? Yeah. Roger, help me read number one. With the correct number answer. One. Okay. Um, which city is, most, is more cruel? Buenos Aires or Lima? Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Luis, help me read number two. Is Disney World the most famous? Amusement park in the world. Perfect, thank you. Juan, help me read number three. <laughs> what is the longest river in the world? The Amazon, the Nu, or, or Nile? Perfect, that's Nile. correct. <laughs> yes, so which city is more crowded? Buenos Aires or Lima? Is Disney World the most famous amusement park in the world? What is the longest river in the world? Uh, the Amazon, uh, the New or Nile? That's correct. Awesome. So, so far so good. Estamos bien hasta ahorita? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Let's go with the second to last. All right. So that will be letter uh -huh. E. That is complete the request. All right. This one, it gave a headache to some of you. <laughs> I understand. All right. Yes. So let's go ahead and solve them. Because there are two answers that you could use in almost all of them. In, two, in this one and this one, there were two answers. All right. Solo en la uno y en la tres habían dos tipos de respuestas. Luego en la dos y en la cuatro era una sola respuesta. So, who can help me with the number one? Que the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Vamos a ver. That's correct. Y la segunda respuesta solo era una cosita que tenían que agregar. Es entre can y that. That's correct. So, can, oops, that the test is on Thursday at 1 p.m. Vamos a ponerlo aquí a un ladito para que vean. All right. Esta es una respuesta. Y la otra respuesta es sin esto. All right. And that. Yeah. Exactly. So is. Esta era las cualquiera de las dos respuestas que iba a agarrar. Esta o esta. Y la única diferencia era el that. El that. Exacto. Una lo llevaba y la otra no lo llevaba. Perfect. So let's continue with the number two. Which one do you think it is? Uh, Alex, uh, to meet, Alex, to meet, 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 meet me after class today. Alex, to meet me after class today. Do you have a question mark or solo se queda así? Yes, yes. That is correct. Do you have a question mark? All right. So, vamos a ponerlo, vamos a ver si es cierto. That is correct. Entonces, la respuesta de esta es Alex to meet me after class today with question mark. Con interrogante. All right, perfect. Ahora la tres. La tres también tenía dos respuestas. So, who can help me with this one? ¿Quién me puede ayudar con esta? Marcos, there, there's a volleyball no, Marcos, there a volleyball game tonight. Marcos, there is a volleyball. Uh -huh. A volleyball game Marcos, tonight. Marcos, there's a volleyball game tonight. Y así se queda. No, lleva el signo de interrogante. Perfecto, perfecto. The question mark. That is correct. So, vamos a copiarlo, right? Porque aquí hay dos respuestas. Esta es una. Okay. Vamos a 
Okay. ¿Y la segunda cuál es? Mark, Mark, Mark that there's, there's a volleyball game tonight. tonight. Perfect. Entonces, solo es agregarle el that. Yeah. Right? Aquí. ¿Verdad que sí? Yes. Uh -huh. Perfect. Yes. So, solo es de agregar eso al final. Vamos a agregarlo aquí a la parte. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. How are you? Hello, baby. <laughs> Sorry, my son. No, hola. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. That's okay. All right. So, and the last one, number four. Come to the picnic on Saturday. So, what will be the correct answer? I would like to come to, to the come picnic, picnic on Saturday. Lleva a punto. O solo así. Yes, yes. Lleva a punto, perfecto. Right? So, ahí está. And that's it. All right? I would like to come to the picnic on Saturday. All right? And that will be all. all right? So that's it. I'm sorry. Do you have any questions, guys, with this part? Con esta parte? Yeah. Yes? A mí nunca no. me agarró la 2 y la 4. <risa> la, vamos a, la vamos a enviar. Ah, no, ya WhatsApp. se pusieron en contacto conmigo los de soporte y sigue dando el mismo problema. I'm sorry. Que se le ponen el 100% ahí. <risa> Exacto. Yes, because... Yeah, I send them your information. 110% te vamos a poner por ese problema, Joel. Por la paciencia <laughs> que les he tenido. <laughs> yes. That's correct. All right. So, guys, no questions with this one? We can move to the next one? No. No, no, no questions. All right. Vamos a borrar. It's todo okay. Esto. Okay, then. So, let's move on to the last letter, I think. Quiero ver. Sí, la última letrita. All right, and this one, what you needed to do is just to read an article, right? The article is this one. All right, so, regresémonos a la explicación. Is the instruction says to read the article, then answer the questions, all right? So, la primera pregunta dice, what is Hawaii? So let's go to the article. Um, I let's see, Estela. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es el guay entonces? I stayed in the island. island. Uh, island. Uh, island. Uh, island. Uh, I stayed in the island. I stayed in the island. I stayed in island. That's correct. Just something that you need to change there. Is it island? No, Iceland. Este sí no, no se dice Island. Uh -huh. Solo es Island, sin Island. pronunciar la S. No suena la S. Exacto, la S no suena, pero sí se escribe. All right? So it will be a state in an island. That's it. E igual, isla, solo Isle, también se dice Isle. Right? Island. Uh -huh. Isle. Yes. And that it's okay. No se preocupen. Next one. Number two, what climate not found in Hawaii? Arctic. 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 That's correct. All of them, Arctic. they have it. All right. <laughs> Todos los demás lo tienen. Right. Now, letter uh, number three. I'm sorry. How hot does it get in Kailua Kona in the winter? I think it's 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. Eighty. Yes. Vale, yes. puede creer. Eighty. <laughs> All right, eighty. So, y no sé si se pronuncia esta, guys. I'm sorry. Ahí sí les quedó mal. Number four. Where does it rain the most? In the north. In the east. 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 Uh -huh. east? All right. Yeah. Yes. yes. The east. Okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and see. Perfect. Ni siquiera tuvieron que leer la lectura otra vez. It's amazing, amazing. You remember? No. Pero pues, lo que lo leímos. No, I mean today, like right now. It's okay. Just tell me, tell me. 
el que las leyó prácticamente ya se las puede la respuesta. El que no lo ha leído, ahí está con la copia a la paz. <laughs> and it's okay, don't worry, don't worry. So, number one, that's correct. Hawaii is a state in an island. Actually, there are uh, an archipelago, if I'm not mistaken, right? It's, a, it's a, a lot of island. If I'm not mistaken, there are like four or five islands, right? Creo que son cuatro o cinco islas, si no me equivoco, right? Cinco, um, son. Ajá, es que right? es tener un poquito right. de la cultura, saber un poquito de la cultura de Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Había solamente saber que era de Hawaii y, y, y leerlo y ya prácticamente estaban las respuestas ahí. That is correct, right? Because Hawaii is a state from the U.S. Actually, it's the 50th state, if I'm not mistaken, um, because they were acquired after a long purchase they did, right? So, such as Alaska. Alaska didn't belong to the U.S. They belonged to Russia, and they were bought for like $14,000. Yes, creo que como por $14,000 compraron Alaska. Ajá. Yes. Sí, creo pero eso, ahí... según la historia... Fue allá por 1820, más o menos, si no me equivoco. That's correct. And it was like $14,000 uh -huh. they, they paid for Alaska, <laughs> right? So it's like Hawaii. They, they did an, an arrangement uh, with the people there, and now they're joined with the U.S., right? It's the four, it's the four as the states they have from the land. Es el estado más lejano que tienen de la tierra de Estados Unidos, right? So it's a pretty good place. I never been there. I wish that someday I'm gonna visit Hawaii. They say it's pretty cool and beautiful, <laughs> right? So yes, and they say they have um, a highway that Ay, is called was. Kamehameha. <laughs> so if you are a, a fan from Dragon Ball, you know what I'm talking about, right? So they say it's pretty good, right? And Hawaii is the main island, right? Hawaii is la isla principal. La principal, right? correcto. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where the airport is and a lot of places are. La historia right? que people... no me puedo muy bien, teacher, es la de Puerto Rico. Como es muy reciente, por eso. Yes. <laughs> Puerto Rico is neither a state nor a country, right? Puerto Rico no es ni un estado de Estados Unidos, ni un país. Ni un es, país, ajá. Es dependiente de Estados Unidos, es, yes. Ah, por eso Como mismo. Es. ¿Mande? Bueno, México, no, digamos que México en sí ya no, es no, no, tiene como presidente. colonia americana, le digo. Ah, exacto. That's correct. That's that's a colony because they don't have a president. They have a mayor. No tienen un presidente, Ajá. sino que tienen un alcalde. Right? Uh, hoy es alcaldesa. Es una alcaldesa. So um, they don't and they don't belong to the U.S. like a state. They are, digamos que son el estado 51 no proclamado de Estados Unidos. Sí dependen de ellos, de la ayuda estatal, de los ingresos federales pero en sí no pueden llamarse que pertenecen a Estados Unidos, pero tienen todas las ventajas de los ciudadanos estadounidenses. Ajá, uh -huh, uh, si pueden ir a Normalmente ellos. Exacto, pueden entrar y salir de, Puerto Rico, de Estados Unidos, perdón, and they don't have any issues, pero tampoco son un país independiente. Tienen ventajas y desventajas, right? So, es como nosotros, pero nosotros no tenemos todas esas ventajas que tiene Puerto Rico, right? So. De gracia. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. So they just took. Um, there is actually a document. Pero tenemos varios como Puerto Rico. Así como Ricky Martin, hay varios. Ay, me acabo de con tu mamá. Y yo algo bien importante, right? So that's, that's right. O sea, un, right. un desperdicio ahí. All right then. So, so yes, that's that's it, right? Si quieren saber más de la cultura de, de Puerto Rico, hay un documental en Netflix que no recuerdo exactamente cómo se llama, pero lo, lo, lo narra y lo y sale ahí eh, el cantante de Calle 13, que no recuerdo cómo se llama el hombre. Pero habla acerca. René, thank you very much. Y creo que así se llama el documental. So, habla más acerca, en más detalle porque él es de ahí, entonces él sabe más la, la situación. Ajá, no hay nadie más aquí, como que llama algo así. 
Ajá, algo así. So, si lo encuentro, se los mando al WhatsApp por si les interesa, right? I love the documentaries. That's the reason why I know it. Uh, I mean, yo amo los documentales. Esa es la razón por la que me conozco varios. <laughs> But it's good. That's a pretty good documentary. Actually, guys, I recommend you to watch documentaries of any kind if you want to improve your English. Uh, more importantly, if you want to improve your vocabulary, because they use a lot of words for the spoken English. Yeah, Los documentales, ¿Cómo? exacto, yeah. utiliza un montón de palabras en el inglés hablado, de que pueden utilizarlo en cualquier conversación. So, mm. Se los recomiendo. Y esa hora no ah, póngale como... mute a, a Joel, que ahí tiene el kinder y ahí, no deja, oímos más a Joel. <risa> no, 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 yo no tengo el... kinder. <risa> es una ah, guardería, bueno. pero no es kinder. No te ah, la pido. Ah, <risa> Cerca. Sorry, pero no lo mismo. <risa> a la parte del penal de Marionas, del Mujeres, está perro. Sí, cabal, aquí la parte de Rosa Virginia. <risa> All right, guys. So yes, I recommend you to watch documentaries, but because they're good for your vocabulary, you will learn a lot okay. of vocabulary and pronunciation you, as well. Mm -hmm. So, algunas personas les parece aburrido, uh, but it's actually you. Besides learning new vocabulary and pronunciation, you will learn a lot of new information uh, about mm. it. All right, van a aprender un montón más de información también. All right. So guys, do you have any questions uh, about the platform? Not just about the exam, maybe about the um, the contents or, or the other things. No questions? No question. No. Right. Eh, eh, la, no la, quizás las preguntas es, se decía que es el 23, tenemos para presentar la documentación para el próximo módulo. That is correct. You have until December 23rd. Tienen hasta December 23, 23 de December, I'm sorry, uh, para entregar toda la documentación. Si lo pueden hacer antes, mucho que mejor. Y para las personas que trabajan sería con recursos humanos, right? No manejarían eso ustedes. Eh, pero para okay. los que sí entregan eso, sí tienen que hacerlo ustedes, ¿ok? Y es como que comenzaran de nuevo. Y en Safor sí pide de nuevo toda la información. Eh, uh -huh. Creo que es doing it y la, y la ficha de inscripción. Sí, creo que solo eso es. So, la ficha lo, firmada. Exacto, y firmada. Ahí sí es como que comenzar algo nuevo, right uh -huh. No como que lleva un hilo. Esa es la única diferencia, right But besides that, everything is the same, right? Sería hasta el otro año, todavía no han confirmado uh, fechas. Generalmente es la segunda o tercera semana de enero, pero como les digo, todavía no tengo fecha y no las puedo especificar hasta cuándo exactamente se van. A... ¿Y pasaríamos a qué módulo? Uh, están en el inter... preintermedio 3. Preintermedio módulo 3. Si no me equivoco, sería el preintermedio 4. A intermedio 1, ¿verdad? Ya de Intermedio 1. Yes. Exacto. Uh... Hay... Sí, porque solo son tres de preintermedio, tres intermedios, y luego creo que es avanzado. Se lo, eso sí, información sí no la tengo. Pero sí, ahorita sí pasarían al intermedio uno, si okay. no me equivoco. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. Okay. So, tenemos todavía 15 minutitos. Eh, me gustaría que practicáramos un poquito más lo de tell y ask. O cómo se sienten con ese tema. ¿Se acuerdan el tema de ayer? Yes. Más o menos. I don't. All right. You don't. That's okay. Un repasito. Right. So tell y ask. ¿Qué dijimos que era tell? ¿Para qué se utiliza como, el tell? Es como, como una orden. Como una orden. Una orden. Exacto. Y ask. Es como algo para más pedir favor, para, para, para pedir un favor. Para pedir un favor y preguntar. Y preguntar. And it's more polite, right? Y es más amable ask for something that tell for something, right? Es más amable pedir un favor que dar una orden, sí o no? Uh -huh. Right? Dep so, no. Depende. Depende. Depende de quién se lo diga. Like de la <laughs> Depende de a quién se lo vayas a decir. Yes, you're right. That's correct. Yes. And, but most of the time, it's better to, to do ask. If 
you are, for example, working in customer service, it's better to use ask than tell, right? Because some customers might feel like threatened <laughs> if you just tell them. But that's correct. It depends on the situation, right? It depends on the context when you're going to use tell and when you're going to use ask, right? But most of the time, we should use ask, right? <clears throat> or tell. That's actually up to you. <laughs> en realidad, eso depende de ustedes. Si ustedes quieren ser más directos en lo que dicen, pues utilicen tell. Y si quieren ser como más discretos o amables, utilicemos ask, All right? So, vamos a continuar con la práctica de ayer. ¿Se acuerdan las oraciones que estaban haciendo? Yes? All right, then. No, dice, pero no se preocupe, lo vamos a poner en grupo. All right? So, let's see. Para que sea más fácil, porque tenemos poco tiempo, lo voy a poner en pareja. All right, vamos a ver. Aquí llegamos las de un solo, ticho. ¿Qué? Sin grupo. ¿Sin grupo? Yeah. Are you sure? Las que nosotros okay. hicimos, las que quedamos al grupo ayer. Ah, ok. Bueno, entonces si quieren... Nosotros hicimos que le digan las del grupo. Vaya. Ah, pues si quieren, vayan meditando. Una, denme un ejemplo. Ahorita. Tell me your name. Tell me your name, right? Tell me your name. <laughs> that's good. That's good. All right. Give me another one. Um, maybe um, your sister didn't tell me, didn't tell me she had a brother hair. Didn't tell me you had a brother. Así? Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. All right. What else? Okay. Could you tell me, tell me, pardon. could you tell my sister that I won't be able to get, permit? que no la veo bien, esas son las de ayer, okay. to get to her house, to I want her to get house. to her house, yes, uh, uh -huh. All right. could Perfect. you tell my sister that I want to, uh -huh, see. Awesome. All right. Tell me another one. Would you tell my mo my mother give a coffee? Would you tell my mother give a coffee? Uh, give, give a oh give, give me give give, give, give a, a coffee. I guess. Probably. Awesome. All right, any other example? Uh, please tell me what time is, is in the conference. What time is the conference? Awesome. What else? Uh, please tell my boss. I won't be able to go to work. I won't. Okay, sorry. Make it okay, you eat. Uh, I won't. Won't be able to go to work. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. This is only the thing. Tell to your That's partners that tomorrow is the last English class. That's correct. Tell to your partners she, that tomorrow is the last English class. Mm -hmm. He tells a great lie. Okay, great example. Thank you. What else? Think about it. 
Me han dicho un montón de tell, and it's correct. It's amazing. Can you give me an example with ask? Ask Carlos to how do it. Ask Carlos? To how do it. Así? No, el tú no va. Okay. How do it. Yeah. Okay. To how to it. No, pero aquí sí va un two. Uh -huh. How to do it. Yes. Ahí se va un two. Sí. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Can you give me another one with ask? Will you ask your boss to give to give me a job? Question mark. Yes, sorry. That's great. Thank you. Will you ask your boss to give me a job? Perfect. Do you have any other other one with ask? Uh, could you ask your father help me your father help me with the English homework perfect thank you very much do you have another one with ask Please ask Williams, Williams' father. Please ask Williams' father, is he uh, will attend the school meeting? Oops, oops, all right. Perfect. Please ask William's father if he will attend the school meeting. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Um, ¿Quién más estaba ayer con nosotros? Luis, I think Luis. Yes, you were here yesterday, right? ¿Quién más me puede dar? No es que ya no le quiera escuchar, Leticia, <ríe> sino que ya me dio un montón, pero no quisiera escuchar a las demás. <ríe> yes. All right. Can somebody else give me another example with tell or ask? Um, you don't need to ask your permission. ¿Sí? Or permission. Oh, sorry. Perfect. Thank you very much, Roger. Okay. All right. Do you have another one by any chance? Would you ask to Alex if he can see me after the class? Perfect. Wait, arriba se me fue. Wait. Let see. Amazing. Could you ask? to Alex or just Alex? Would you ask Alex if he can see me after class? Amazing, thank you very much. Do you have another one, guys? Could you ask, to, uh, could you ask your mother if she can cook tonight? <laughs> yeah, right? Perfect. Could you ask your mother if she can cook tonight? Amazing. What else? Mm -hmm. it, uh, maybe it's easier to ask for forgiving it than permission. Yes, it's correct. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission uh, okay <laughs> yes all right cool <laughs> do you have another one guys 
Tell me, oops, meeting a Kiko Metung error. Tell me your name. You didn't tell me you had a brother. Could you tell my sister that I want to get to her house? Could you tell my mother to, aquí también me equivoqué, to give me a cup of coffee? Please tell me what time is the conference. Please tell my boss I won't be able to go to work. Tell to your partners that tomorrow is the last English class. He tells a great lie. Perfecto, right? Porque he, third person, then we add S. Amazing. Ask Carlos to how to do it. Would you ask, would you ask your boss to give me a job? Could you ask your father to help me with the English homework? Please ask William's father if he will attend the school meeting. You don't need to ask for or permission. Could you ask Alex if he can see me after the class? Could you ask your mother if she can cook tonight? Then it's easier to ask for forgiveness than for permission. Who can give me another one? Either would ask or tell. Uh, one more time we ask. One more time? No, one more can we ask? One more thing, o como? No, can, o sea, can, o sea, de, de, de pedir, de podemos okay. en la cosa. Sí, sí, ¿cómo, cómo sería? One. One, no, what? What? Ajá, uh -huh, more can. Oh, yes. En ese caso sería what else? Ah, uh, what else? Can we ask? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. What else can we ask? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> 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 yes. For example, um, let's see. Um, not necessarily ask. Most of the time it's easier to tell, to uh, give examples with tell, right? Because with tell you're giving orders, right? Es más fácil dar ejemplos con tell porque con eso estamos dando órdenes. For example, oh. hay una orden que inglés corporativo les dio. Bueno, no inglés corporativo, it's a form. <laughs> um, uh -huh. Finalizar el módulo el día de hoy antes de las 11.59. ¿O no? Uh -huh. So, yes. digamos que Insafor le dijo a inglés corporativo, tell your students to finish the module before the day finishes, right? Antes de que el día termine, right? Okay. That will be an order from Insafor to Inglés Corporativo. So they told them, uh -huh. you don't have until Friday, uh -huh. you have until Thursday, right? Because some previous courses and cursos anteriores se finalizaba hasta el viernes, right? Creo que el, hey. el anterior fue así, exactly. Uh -huh. But not this one, because that's how they requested it, right? Así es como lo pidieron. Uh -huh. Teacher, okay. Dígame. Teacher, sorry. Uh, what do you pronounce? Módulo? Uh, module, como con module. J. <laughs> yes, module. module, like you, module, 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 module. 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 Ah, okay, thank module. you. Yes, module. Ajá, creo que así se <laughs> Yes, module. the module. Mm -hmm. Pero no se, no se escribe así, ¿verdad? Se escribe así. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all right, perfect. <laughs> all right, guys, I couldn't ask for more. Honestly, I couldn't ask for more. I'm gonna send all of them to the WhatsApp group so you can have them as well. And guys, thank you very much for joining for the last class. All right, um, I'm happy that I got to see you one more time today. And I'm happy that I got to meet you and new people and that I saw some old faces as well, right? Que vi caras eh, conocidas y que conocí nuevas personas también. It's been 
It's been a pleasure, guys. As I said, I couldn't ask for more. You had a great improvement, and thank you very much for joining for all the classes. I understand if you couldn't be on the, all the classes, but I understand you also have things to do. You also have a job in family, right, that you need to attend. So thank you, guys. You've been great students, and thank you for joining. I, I, I don't know what else to say, just thanks. So thanks for being great students. Thanks for being here. And I hope you have great holidays. I hope you are with your family and I hope you have a great weekend, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wishes Thank you. to everyone for a happy new year. Happy Merry Christmas and happy new year. Thank you, you too, Oli. Everybody. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Gracias, you Miss, que nos aguantó. Thank you. 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 Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>